so I'm not gonna lie, I went mining off camera, you know, how all the YouTubers do, but <sighs> we got full inventory of stuff, but I got lost again. I ended up getting out somewhere like 2000 blocks in that way and I thought to myself hey I have a bed and you know if you make a compass your compass points to your bed right? Well on the way home or the way there where we made our home in the last episode I don't remember finding this. Now I don't know what is this? But yeah, it's, we are still on 1.8 as you can see, I didn't change. So let's try and get up on this. And let's hope this compass actually leads us home because, you know, I'm kind of mad that I couldn't find my home, which I was really hyped for building on because it was a really cool place, not gonna lie. Okay, we made it. So let's see where this compass leads at and in the meanwhile I'm gonna change the versions again. Oh my god. We found dogs. So in the meantime I made some trade-offs in terms of sound but... Oh the big and a dog with the first hit. First hit. First bone. Wait, let's try to tame another one. Two ducks! Come on, ducky, come on, let's have three dogs with us. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. How many? You oh my god, that's a lot of pawns, but main thing is I might have lost my house. Uh, I think again. Great. And I'm not gonna lie, I really wanted to make that place a house. But shit happened and here we are on the square one again. But hey, at least... What? What are you doing? At least we get more diamonds. Where are you going, my dude? Anyways, looks like we stumbled upon some old Minecraft world generation because there's no any grass. I'm so confused. But there's spruce wood, if I'm correct. But the, oh god. What if I just got an idea? What if the compass doesn't point to your bed, but instead points to your spawn point, like your original spawn point? If that's the case, then we might find our original house. Which from one side, it's good. But then again, uh, not so good. I don't know, but I feel like I'm gonna stress out my Minecraft so much that in the end the world will be just a mess. Because this is like a swamp and a spruce and a lot of things in one. And I have no idea what to do. Like, it looks flat. But it also it doesn't look flat, but it also looks like a new world generation. You know what, let's just change version and go from there. And here we are in 1.0.0. So I had to skip a few versions because in the Minecraft installer there is no 1.9. So we went straight to 1.0 and we got our dogs and this Finally is adventure update where the ender dragon is added and ender pearls Finally work Yeah, that's right ender pearls work And I think endermans don't make zombie noises anymore So in this version This is where we find our house Or a place for a house And just stay there. I mean build around it and somehow not lose the location of our house there are still no coordinates yep and as you can see the swamps are ugly as hell and they are ugly like this to this day 
I don't know, I just love my dogs. It's so amazing watching them work. Oh, and also, in the nether we finally get the nether fortresses, magma cubes, you know, the stuff we have now. Potions, brewing, and whatever we want. So yeah, our goal is to go to nether and defeat the ender dragon by going to nether. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh my god, I wouldn't believe it if I... <laughs> like, this whole series is just a series of events that I don't didn't plan at all. Like, I can't plan them. And look at this, a village. An old school village. Let's just borrow some meat from those cows. And we're gonna go check out the old village. So, this might be a place where we build our house. Look at this. Hello! Useless certificate. Yeah, you are absolutely useless. Those guys, I don't think they even closed the doors behind them. They didn't have trades. And I don't think they are scared of zombies either. Yeah, like, you see? Unless you let them out, I think they can't get out of the house. <gasps> oh my god, it's an old school realm. Blacksmith. Yeah, that's right. Uh, oh my god, this brick. There's no chest in old school blacksmith. Uh, what sorcery is this? Okay, you know what? Okay, dogs, stop. But they can't open. No, they can't open the doors. And look at all those wheat farms, like wheat for days, boys. Right now we're gonna do something that's called uh, big brain time. We're gonna go craft a crafting table. We're gonna go to this. One, two, three, four. Okay, three. I'm done. And we're gonna make a bed. Yeah, it's a big brain time. Let's hope this is our spawn point. I don't know. The compass is pointing... So it doesn't point to my bed. Which is kind of bad. Because I don't know where it is pointing. Oh, and if you would wa want to torture those guys, there's honestly, like, really no reason why not to. They don't have sounds, they don't have iron golems to protect them, they don't have traits. Like, they are the most useless beings on, like, Minecraft right now. Wait, what? Why did you... How did you harvest that? Okay, what is happening here? Yeah, what are you doing? I'm confused, like, you walking over crops? What are you doing, guys? You are not falling on them. Okay, fuck you. You know? I always thought on multiplayer servers that players griefed those, uh, how do you call them, gardens or whatever, or farms. But it turns out, it turns out those guys were griefing it all along. Like, okay, so we're not gonna build our house here. Okay, looks like just walking over the crops tramples them? Why? And since when was this thing? I don't remember. I'm really confused.
Okay, you know what? A uh, change of plans. So since I have no idea how the compass works and where is it pointing, since it's obviously not to my bed, we are gonna go and I don't know, like find a place for a house from which we won't really move far away or leave our landmarks because this is pointless. Okay, so let me just check something. So yeah, we are currently trespassing into the forbidden territories. I have no idea what is happening here. Is this the old world? I think it is. Oh my god, we might be going the way to our first house. And we are getting a fierce drops. So there was a village there, but oh my god. This is so weird, like changing between the versions and going back and forward and you know, and I'm not gonna live in the village. Pretty much destroys the game. Like what? Hello? Like is this the old version of Minecraft Mountain or new version of Minecraft Mountain? I think it's old. But this is a swamp, but it's a swamp mountain, but I my brain hurts. Yeah, I know my PC, I know. You're not the only one that what the like where did I Okay So that's new I can sleep and I can be pushed out of the bed and I can eat and we finally have the eating sounds. Okay. And also the wines don't work. So I need to remember that because I like to be Tarzan. Hello. I think we might be going to the world spawn, boys. Yep. Oh, and lily pads, I don't think they work either. No, they were. Oh no, they were like the bane of the boats because they broke the boats instead of boat breaking them. I remember that. Yeah, we might be going where the old world meets new world. Yeah, this is looking like an old world, but I want a new world. But there's a spruce forest, and this is a desert, and this is an old... <gasps> you know what? I'm really interested. Maybe we for real can find our old house. You know how amazing... Oh, look at this. Look at this wally. It's so amazing to make a house. Like, you have a glitch here, glitch roll. Yeah. I'm, you know, I wanted to play the Minecraft as it is supposed to be played. Okay, night, thank you. You know, by building a house, staying, settling up. What are you doing? Why are you going to the cactus? And why is this so loud? Yeah. So yeah, I wanted to play Minecraft normally, but... Changing between the versions kind of breaks it a lot. Which from one side is amazing. Because when like when would you see this kind of world generation? This is crazy. Like this is old Minecraft meets new Minecraft because there's no grass but there's patch grass there and there's a desert and there's so much stuff to see. Amazing stuff. Like, honestly, tell me, when would you see something like this in a new Minecraft? Of course you won't, because it's all fixed, but tell me it's not amazing. Like, look at this. Desert meat, mountain meat, forest meat, grassland meat, everything. Like, yeah. And F1 is finally working. When you click it, you don't have to hold it. So yeah, I don't know, like, our goal is to beat the Ender Dragon, and how we do it, it's my way. If I decide to just travel around the world, somehow find a stronghold and kill the Ender Dragon, then we shall do it like that. Oh my god, is that a 5 foot long cactus? I think it is, boys. 
I think it is. Look at this chat cactus. One, two, three, four, five blocks tall cactus. Like, when do you see this? Forgive me, but that's, that's a thumbnail material. Like, when do you see that? Like, you know, the mountains are cool, but five block cactus? I didn't build that. You know what? Since it's November and it's nearly winter time, I'm gonna build my house over here, okay? This is where our house will be and we won't lose this place, hopefully. So queue up the montage of collecting resources and while well, building a house for the fifth time. So while I was harvesting resources, I'm not done at all yet, I found this place which can be amazing for a house. Just imagine walking out of the house in the morning and the creeper dropping on your head, the possibilities are endless, right? Oh my god, here it is! We found our first enderman. And by enderman I real, I mean real enderman. <laughs> Yeah, the Enderman we all know and love. And I have no idea where he left. Oh! Okay. That spooked me out. And the sword is now... a bit weaker. Jesus fucking Christ. So here we have it, the base for the base is set up, of course this will get more details but for now let's have a base of operations, so currently this is it and I think it looks pretty good for the starters. Anyways, this is where I'll the end the episode, you know what to do, leave a like if not for me, for those three dogs that are with us for now and let's hope till the end of those series. Anyways, thank you guys, goodbye.